Hi, this is Professor Cummings, and again, just doing another video here on gear mechanics. Again, pointing out the uh, velocity ratios on gearing. And again, using another simple gear train for another problem. Uh, let's go ahead and, and look at this one, another example problem. So you have a 15-tooth spare, spare pinion, and this one is in metric. It has a module of 3 millimeters, and module is just the same as diametral pitch, so it's the the teeth per, per millimeter, so three three millimeters uh, per tooth. Uh, and it has a torque of 3.1 newton meters. And it runs at a speed of 1600 RPM, revolutions per minute. All right, the, the driven gear has 60 teeth. The driven gear, so it's the bigger gear, 15 versus 60. You know, find the speed of the driven gear and the circular pitch and theoretical distance. So, if we look at this information, what we have been given, 1600 RPMs on the input, uh, 3 millimeters per tooth for the input, and 15 teeth. Uh, let's go ahead and underscore that. You know, 15 uh, uh, teeth on this smaller one. And again, the, that's not an accurate picture, but I just wanted something to show an input and output. And we've also been given the torque. 3.1 newton meters of torque. So that is a new development. So what are we trying to find? The rotational speed and the output torque. So everything we've been given is laid out. When we've got the driver, you know, the pinion has 15 teeth. The rotational speed of the pinion is 1600 revolutions per minute. The module, which is just the metric version of the diametral pitch, is 3 millimeters and the torque is 3.1 newton meters. And the only thing we know about the driven gear is that it has 60 teeth. Now right there, right off the bat, if you've watched a few of these videos, you know you've got a lot of information that is being tied together that we should be able to, you know, very easily work through this problem. Because, you know, everything goes through the velocity ratio and we have enough information to find the velocity ratio between these two gears very quickly. But we'll just go on with the, just work through the problem. We have to find the center to center distance, the rotational speed of the output gear, as well as the torque of the output gear. Alrighty. And what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to use that velocity ratio. And we have, you know, the rotational speed of the input of the gear, um, but we don't have the output. And we also have the teeth. So, you know, this is just the velocity ratio equation. We're probably going to have to go through where we're going to have to go through looking at the teeth of the gears. So the driven gear. So again, we got the uh, velocity ratio, the driven gear, which is equal to the velocity ratio times the you know, speed of the pinion. And I should have this a lowercase n instead of an omega to keep it consistent. But you've got the number of teeth, you know, excuse me, the, uh, you know, the number of teeth, 50 to 60, 15 to 60. And we've got that output speed of 1600. So what you're seeing is that, you know, there's a four to one relationship here. So again, 15 over 60 uh, times 1600. And so you're going to go down by a quarter. So that output speed is going to be 400 RPM. So you're getting 1,600 on one side, and you're going down one-fourth of that on the other. So one-fourth of that on the other. So you're slowing this down quite a bit. You're slowing this down, you know, one-fourth of the, the input speed. Now, let's go ahead and, and work on the next one. Now, if you understand or if you remember the, the discussions we did on torque and velocity ratio, you know, speed, you know that, they have an inverse relationship. As the speed goes up, the torque goes down. So if we use this same, we've got a, a velocity ratio that we can count on, and we do have uh, the input torque of 3.1 uh, newton meters. So using that same velocity ratio, but now we've got to use the uh, inverse of it, since the relationship is inverse. You've got uh, 60 over 15, 60 over 15, uh, let me get my pointer back. That's not going to work. 
60 over 15 times 3.1 Newton meters. And so now we're going to see that the torque, or the speed went down four, uh, four, four times, and now it goes up four times. So again, so the same, the, the velocity ratio, you know, makes it easy to understand what all is going on with these gearing, especially in a simple gearing system. So there we have, we found the torque, we found the rotational speed of the gearing. Now let's go ahead and find uh, the center to center distance. So first we've got to find the pitch diameter. Again, that's the diameter from the center of the gear all the way up to the, you know, the, the pitch plane. All right. So first is the, uh, the diameter of the gear. You know, we've got the module. We multiply that by the number of teeth. So the module is you know, in millimeters per teeth, and then the number of teeth, you know, the teeth cancel. The teeth would cancel out on this one. So let's just go ahead and do this just for fun. You cancel out the number of teeth, and you're left with millimeters three times 60, 180 millimeters. So that's for the big gear, 180 millimeters. And for the small gear, the pinion, in the same diametral pitch, teeth cancel, 15 teeth times 3, 45 millimeters. And again, remember the ratios between them. Again, there's a reason you can you know, find the velocity ratio. So long as your diametral pitch is the same or your module is the same, you can use it using diameters, find it using torque, or find it using rotational speed. So now we've got the diameters. Now we use that same equation for that center to center distance or theoretical center. And that is you know, the diameter of the input, or in this case, the diameter of the, the output plus the diameter of the input divided by two. And that theoretical center is 112.5 millimeters. You know, and this information makes it easy if you're, you've got a system and you know you've got a certain type of step down or step up you're looking for in speed or in torque, um, you can start to figure out how many teeth you're going to get on between the two gears, uh, what their diametral, uh, diametral pitch is going to be or the module, and now you'll be able to size them up for your proper application. So again, this is Professor Cummings. You know, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and share this video and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but preferably a thumbs up. Um, you know, share it around. Those things really help out, out the channel. Uh, and I will talk to you in the next video.